The following content contains spoilers. Please consider reading the fanfiction in the description for context before watching. This comic and story belongs to its rightful owner, also in the description. Permission has been granted to use this for entertainment purposes. Do not, under any circumstances, use, take screenshots, or re-upload my content without permission. There will be consequences. Viewer discretion is advised. I hope you enjoy the show. going on? Is anyone here? Huh? What's happening? Greetings, Silver. Haven't seen you in a while. Who? Who are you? How do you know me? What? Did you forget me? Forget? I've never seen you before! Oh, I think you do. Huh? How could we completely destroy Alice? That's a nice thing. I'm Amy Rose. But someone I know said to me. Play it for I've always loved her. But how? Good. It seems you haven't forgotten me after all. How is this possible? Your actions are supposed to be forever... <clears throat> forever <clears throat> undone. I know. But I think you should know that I'm not that foolish. I've prepared myself in case this would happen. <clears throat> To give you some useful advice, no matter how much power you have at hand, even the smallest bit of luck given to your opponent can result in your defeat. After you and your friends put an end to my rampage, I quickly escaped to a different dimension where I could rest after being weakened. I was in my purest form, but still had a small portion of power Enough to bring me back into this world. However, when I returned, the time which was erased forced me to become a black spot in the history books of Soliana, being a part of the blank pages. So when you took me home, I searched for a place to heal my weakened form. And when I pulled you into my shadow, I finally had the time to play around with your emotions. So, these illusions? Those were just small tests to see if I could make you insane. Before you faced all those terrifying images, I had a lot of fun playing around with your hatred. You had to let it out once. Those friends of yours seem to treat you more like garbage than a friend. And I guess they'll find it hard to believe that I, the one who they don't remember, is the one responsible for this mess. But does it even matter? Do you even need them when having so much power in your hands? No. You're wrong. You're all wrong! It was never my intention to hurt them, and you were the one who... I believe it was. Like some people say, everyone has a black swan hidden underneath their white skin. You are the perfect example of good and bad. But I must say, 
that your dark side has been suppressed for a long time. It couldn't handle the blinding light of your kind heart that was determined to make people smile and bring them a good future. Ah, but you were the one who pulled it out! You were the one who transformed me into a heartless jerk! True, but I only possessed your hatred. I did not fuel you with it. Soon enough, you're going to believe in your own lies. Naive hedgehog. The way you constantly try to reach for perfection and manage to keep a clear mind will end in the opposite. I will never become like you. And you know what? What? No matter how much power you use on me, I'm going to tell them everything. Oh, really? And how exactly are you going to? It's really awful when you're stuck and have nowhere to go. But if you consider my offer of becoming the most powerful being on Earth, and not get any disrespect thrown at you, then what would you prefer? <sighs> you can't force me into this. Well then, if it's going to be this way, then I guess I have no choice. <laughs> if you don't your determination and stubbornness aside. Then I guess it's time for the finale! <laughs> <laughs>